Do you ever have one of those crazy days when multiple packages that you ordered on different dates from different locations and everything all happen to arrive the same day? That's what today is. Let's see what's inside. Well, welcome back everybody. Thank you so much for joining me yet again. I've got four packages that just happened to arrive and kudos to my uh, UP, uh, United States Postal Service because a lot of times they'll leave it against the side of my house. Today's raining. They took the extra time to walk it up and put it on my front porch underneath the overhang so it wouldn't get wet. Thank you. But I took some vacation days before they expired at the end of the year. Today happens to be my last vacation day, and what a better way to spend it than be opening up some packages. So let's take a look at some of these. And just, you know, I did take the extra time ahead of time to remove all my labels off the boxes with the addresses. So this way, you won't see any float any boxes with uh, my, you know, the Ohana Comics logo on it, <laughs> trying to cover something up. So, also, that means, honey, if you're watching this, that means I did a good job, okay? <laughs> so, anyway, I uh, I do know what all these things are. I, know I don't order that much stuff anyway. It's just very nice when uh, they all come in the same day. That way I can make, like, one video and get to it. This is going to be the only ungraded book. It's the Peach Momoko Crossover. Now, I know that a lot of people have this one. It's just, I, I'm a fan of Peach Momoko. You know, I mean, I, I have a lot of books. That's why I was so happy when I was able to get this one, which has the um, sketch on it. Um, let's take a quick look at this. I didn't see this one in person yet. Wow. Really, really nice trimming on the corners. Usually on the newer books, you wind up with, uh, I call it a bunny tail. It's a little fluff ball on the corners. This one looks really sharp on the corners. I haven't taken it out of the bag yet. I don't see anything wrong with the spine. She looks really, really good. So, yeah, I'm happy about that one. Now well, we're going to move on to the next book. And while I'm opening this one up, has anybody, you know, if you haven't watched The Mandalorian um, Season 2, Episode 5 yet, the one that everybody's talking about, you, you've got to watch it, okay? Uh, it's been several days and is, uh, well, I think it was on Gem Mint. Uh, they were wondering about giving spoilers, and some people were saying no, some people were saying yes. And one person said, it's been 48 hours. If they haven't watched it yet, they don't care. So, yeah, maybe you just haven't, haven't had the, ch the chance yet. Uh, popcorn. Peanuts. I don't like these things. I think I made it clear. Anyway, um, there is a book that is just going through the stratosphere. And... Honestly, I don't even think it's reached its full potential yet. And uh, again, if you, I'm going to be talking about this in a second. So if you haven't seen The Mandalorian and you want to try to avoid the spoiler at the end, I would suggest that you just stop watching this video at this moment. But other than that, before I even pull that one up, has anybody paid attention to what's going on with Heir to the Empire? Now, yes, it's a CBCS 9.8. By the way, there's only four <laughs> CBCS 9.8, so this is super rare. <laughs> there's only 194 of the CGCs also. And this book has been out since 1995, so it's not like there are, you know, there, there's a ton of them more that are on their way in to be graded. It's been worth something for quite some time, but I've been watching the values of this book going through the absolute roof on this thing since the show came out on um, Friday. Um, you, when you, when I first got this book, I got it raw. Uh, I picked it up for, I think it was about $45. Sent it off to be graded. It was supposed to be pressed by CBCS. They screwed up the order, which resulted in a lot of other books getting screwed up. I got lucky with this one. This book has never been pressed. It got graded 9.8 white pages came back to me. Thank you. At that time, it was about 300, 350 for 9.8. So I was still ecstatic. And it's gone up. It broke the $600 mark. You know, $650 mark. And then Friday. $900. $1,000. $1,200. $1,300. I saw a copy. This, somebody clicked on the Buy It Now and took it. $1,399. $1,400 for this book. And two weeks ago, you could have had it for three eighty. dollars Okay? And honestly, I don't think it's reached its full potential yet. There is... 
Sorry, I got the little popcorn underneath my feet. It's driving me nuts. <laughs> there is still a lot of uh, that can be done with uh, Thrawn and the outer rim. Uh, some people are thinking it could be that they're going to be um, basing the next Star Wars trilogy on this, on that time period. It doesn't have to be after. It could be, you know, during those missing years. Well, here's one of the first ones. I opened it. Oh, yes, okay. It's a 9.8. White page of the f now. I said my, one of the books I sent off was the uh, fr frizen is because I had this one in my brain. I'm sorry. This is the frizen 9.8 white page. I really wanted that book. Actually, I'm I'm still I I'm really in love with uh, something that's killing the children. Um, I think this is going to be the next of the uh, what do you call it? It's the uh, the Walking Dead, if not even more. Uh, this can be such a, a great series if they make it. Uh, let's get on to the next box while I'm talking. Um, so, I think that all the Star Wars books are going up. And generally, Star Wars books, they go up. They really don't come crashing back down again. The thing is that there are it's multiple markets that you're hitting here. You know, when you're... Looking at, you know, when you're selling, uh, trying to buy an Avengers comic, you're competing against um, people that buy comics, people that are interested in comics. So the next question is, you know, and they're the only ones that are vying for it. When you're dealing with something like Star Wars books or um, Star Trek books or, or anything that's, you know, science fiction, June, um, so the Walking Dead, those kind of books, you're hitting multiple markets. Now you're not only getting the comic book people, but you're also getting the Star Wars fans. You're getting the movie fans. You know, you're, you're getting fans that are no outside of the norm. Okay, I'm glad this one came out next. <laughs> Something's coming to children. Number one, 9.8 white page. Been trying to keep my eye open for this one for a while until I got a good price, and I got one, thankfully, <laughs> because... Again, I don't think this is going to be going down. I think this is only going to be going up. So that's two. So there's three out of four. We got one left, and I know exactly what this one is. If you watched uh, my uh, video on the four pillars, that might be enough of a clue for you to realize that I finally got the one that I was I always wanted. <laughs> it's the family tragedy, I guess you could call it. <laughs> Da, 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 da. So I haven't checked today, but as of yesterday, my CGC mail-off had still not yet been received, even though it's been mailed off, even though they it was delivered more than a week ago. Um, again, that's that's the way they kind of get you with their uh, their turnaround time. So if you say. Um, if it says it's going to be 30 days after it's received, well, it might sit in their receiving department for two weeks before they open the box and say, yep, here are the boxes. We've received them. That's when it starts the clock. So if you're counting on a book coming back in one month, it might actually be closer to a month and a half or seven weeks, which can be a little bit of a pain. So here we go. This is the one that's... <laughs> yep. Yeah. See, Grandma, I got it. Okay. And if, uh, Austin, if you're watching this too, here we go. I got it too. X-Men number 165, 9.8 in white pages. That is the one that's that's going up on my wall. That's one of my four pillars. Um, I did not get the newsstand. It's okay. I'm, I'm okay without that because I don't think I had the new. No, I didn't have the newsstand. Uh, this is the one that's uh, one of my first books that I've ever gotten one of. It wasn't the... And, but I had sunstroke and I blacked out and my grandmother saw that I was overheating and she poured a bucket of water on me to try to cool my core temperature down and hours later when I woke up to the smell of dinner, I, you know, I wake up my food, food, I'm, you know, four, 13, 14, 15 years old, somewhere around there. And I looked there, I said, you know, what happened to my comic book? She went, oh, I'm sorry. I'm like, what do you mean you're sorry? I mean, here, I blacked out. I'm completely, I'm, I've lost hours of time. I've got blisters all over my back. I'm in excruciating pain. And the only thing I really care about is, where's my comic? Well, it had been totally destroyed. And that became a family thing forever of, you know, you know I saved your life. Oh, you ruined my comic. 
in fun. I love her to death. She's my favorite person on the planet. But I finally got another copy in 9.8 white page. Had to have that. And I've got a couple other copies just for fun, and I've read them again. And but I wanted to have one copy exactly the way I had it when I was a kid, uh, and the top grade that was possible. So and sealed to so this way. If I black out again, nobody can destroy it on me. So anyway, that's it. I'm going to keep this video short. Uh, hopefully we had a little bit of fun here. Like, subscribe, click on notifications. be greatly appreciated. And, uh, you know, keep watching the, the, uh, the Star, Wars, uh, Star Wars books. Research different characters. Um, I don't think that the um, Heir to the Empire has reached its full potential yet. I think it might pull back a little bit in a couple of weeks if you're looking to get one. I think your best bet is to try to get one out of a raw. Look at the percentage of books that are graded. The, uh, the They have a pretty good percentage of uh, 9.8s in their sub submissions. So people have kept these in nice condition. I, that's how I got mine. And uh, I, I wish you all the luck in getting it. If you pull a trigger and you know, say, you know what, I'm going to spend the $1,300, $1,400 and buy one right now, it's your money. You do it as you please. And I don't think it's a bad investment. I actually think it still has a lot of room to grow. I, th I know there's going to be a spinoff series with uh, uh, Ahsoka. I'm pretty damn sure Grand Iron World Throne is going to be in that. And there's pretty good speculation that he'll be in the next movie trilogy. And if that's the case, then this is going to go through the stratosphere. So, guys, again, uh, have a great one. Thanks so much for joining me. And I'm out.